Hey folks, it's Nick from Nintendo Dads here. Let me tell you, you better pop your collar, you better don that fanny pack, you better put on your sweatband, because we're about to review Video Kid, the 80s edition. So the objective of Video Kid the 80s edition is pretty simple. You are on a skateboard and you have to deliver all of your pirated videotapes and try to get to your girlfriend Jessica. Of course it won't be easy because the neighborhood you're delivering in is full of chaos and calamity. So in Video Kid the 80s edition, Pixel Trip Studios took about 10 pounds of 80s characters and references and shoved them into a 5 pound video game. You can't skateboard 5 feet without seeing some reference or character from the 80s. And with that said, not only did they do all that, but they used Video Kid as an homage or reimagining of a great, or at least a classic, uh, Nintendo Entertainment System original NES game called Paperboard. If you've ever played that game, you will see multiple similarities. So in Video Kid, you have to get uh, you have to get to your girlfriend, and she is about 1,500 meters away. You can see the distance up on top. It can, keeps calculating as I move forward. I have to get to 1,500 meters to get to my girlfriend, and I have to do that in one life. I can't collide with anything. If I do, I have to start back from the beginning. Video Kid is a procedurally generated game, so no run is going to look exactly the same. Uh, they do, though, use same sections of the neighborhood, they just kind of move them around, so you will be able to get some form of pattern recognition, but the procedurally generated thing certainly makes it more difficult. Plus, they had a couple of tricks here and there that did add some time to my play to try it before I could finally figure out how to do some certain things. I don't want to give those away, because they do add to the value of the game. Um, with that said, I got about five or six hours of gameplay out of it before I was finally able to get to the get to my girlfriend. Um, there is a neat little feature if you get to your girlfriend, they ask you to take a picture of the um, of the end screen that has your your score and some other stats on it, um, and you can you can submit that to Facebook to their Facebook page, and uh, they have like a running tally. This game currently is out on Steam, so they're currently running scores for the Steam version. Um, I believe they're pretty much identical. Um, as you saw there, you can get some items using boots there. Um, you can get items, the Mega Glove, which makes you shoot videotapes continuously. You can get the boot, which makes the boots, which make you jump really high. There's also like a soda can, which gives you a speed boost for a few seconds. So as you progress in Video Kids, you'll collect money, which you can then take and use in the uh, in the store right here to uh, get different skaters and different jumps. All of this is just cosmetic. None of it helps you uh, helps you skill wise progress in the game. So the controls in Video Kid are not fluid. There's three lanes of uh, there's three lanes that you can be in the sidewalk, the right and left lane of the street, and you can also jump over some items, but not all items. Um, with this with that said, the controls feel a little loose, not a ton, not enough where I didn't have fun in the video game, but they're not as tight as um, maybe I would have liked. So guys, my final thoughts on uh, Video Kid. Uh, it is certainly a nostalgia bomb. Quite frankly, it's a mega nostalgia bomb. But I think the vehicle that that nostalgia has delivered is brilliant. The reimagining of, uh, of Paperboy is fantastic and I love it. Uh, with that said, I have already uh, mentioned that I thought the controls were a touch loose. Did find a bug uh, in the game, but it's not gonna kill the gameplay or kill your fun, quite frankly. So there's not a ton of worry about that. Um, I did think that uh, the game was quite addictive, uh, be, and that's really due to the simple menu scheme. You start playing, you think you're only going to play once, and you can get back into playing so quick that um, you're just like, oh, okay, I'll do it one more time. And so that really does help. With that said, once you meet the object objective and you beat the game, I'm not certain the replayability of the game. Um, maybe, maybe you'll find that you come back to it. I don't know that I really will. Um, right uh, as of August 31st, this game will be $5 on the eShop, uh, American dollars that is. And so if you like what you're seeing, I suggest you pick it up and give it a try. Um, I certainly had a ton of fun with it. This is Nick from Nintendo Dads, signing out. See you later. Game over.